Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. I'm excited to be bringing you this one today. We got the patch notes for 2.04 out a little while ago. It feels like it's been forever that we've had um, a patch, but it's only been like a week or two. I don't know why it feels like it's been forever, but 2.04 patch notes are up. You can go check them out on the Paladins site, obviously, if you want to. I'm not going to be going through them when the PTS comes up. I might make a couple videos on some of the skins and stuff that look pretty damn cool, but other than that, there hasn't been all that much. It's nowhere near as big of a patch as the last couple ones we've had but there have been a lot of bug fixes i'm glad they're working on stuff to do with actually polishing the game because it needed it and it's actually come quite a long way and i'm getting a lot less bugs than i used to playing in paladins currently but today specifically we're going to be playing some zin i'm going to be talking a little bit about what they're changing with them and i'm also going to be finally playing with omega zin i have played this already so this isn't like a first impressions i've already played with this skin i like it a lot you guys have been requesting it but it wasn't in paladins until like a couple days ago because they did the whole like half sectioned patch where some of it was available straight when 2.03 came out and then some of the skins um, from the end time stuff and the Omega skins were released a little bit later on but Zin is here now, we're going to be playing him, I've got a loadout and they are changing him pretty heavily, he's no longer going to be one of the most annoying characters in Paladins, or maybe he still will be but he's going to be less annoying that's for sure because what they're changing about him is, is kind of interesting. If you've played Zin or you've gone against Zin you already know why he's annoying, he has a counter which you know can deny an attack or multiple depending on how timing works with it, F which is movement and damage and his Q which I think everybody can agree on is the most annoying thing because you turn into smoke, you can't take damage, you gain movement speed and you're completely immune for a pretty big period of time and you can also increase the speed and the duration and also have a massive reset for it which is what we're going for with the loader. So that's being changed. Currently it's a 2 second immunity and a 20% movement speed buff. Um, in the patch notes they have it set as the duration being 2.5 but it's not, it's, it's 2, it has it written on here. Maybe this is wrong and the patch notes are right, I, I don't know but it's being taken down to 1.5 and, and then they're also getting rid of the card that lets you increase its duration, which I think is a great change to be honest, because a lot of the time when I'm finding Zin, it's kind of hard to guess when his build is going to be over and now that they're changing it to be a flat one and a half it's going to be a lot easier to fight against Zin and be able to tell um, what's going on, but I'm sure those of you guys that main Zin out there are probably going to be quite unhappy with this change. They are kind of making up for it a little bit because they're buffing the movement speed boost from 20% um, to 30% and they're also reducing the lockout time on it because there's quite a big lockout time currently it's annoying as hell when you finish your Q or certain other abilities, you're kind of just stuck waiting to be able to continue the fight, so so the fact that they've reduced that is probably going to be pretty noticeable and pretty good. And because of the fact that they are reducing the duration on it, they're also um, going to be making Smolder heal for more. So it's going to be 33% max health per second. But also keep in mind, you're no longer going to be able to increase um, the duration of it. So it's technically a buff to this car, but it's also technically a nerf because now the actual duration of below is locked at one and a half seconds. I don't know if this will go through into live, but usually if it's on the patch notes thing, it usually ends up making it into live. They don't tend to change very much. Unless it breaks the game somehow, then it might not go through, but it's probably going to end up going through. They're changing this card um, into reducing the cooldown of your Whirl. Not that that's going to necessarily be as strong as increasing the duration of Billow, but it should be somewhat usable still. Up in Smoke and Fan, the Flames are still the same. I thought these were going to be changed, but nope, you can still buff the speed a ton and still reset the cooldown a ton, but the ability itself is now going to have a locked duration. I've pretty much gone through the ladder already whilst explaining all of that, but we also have Wildfire and Blade Dance just to buff our F a little bit. These three are the main ones, though. I used to have this um, at 4 or 5, but I kind of like having it at 3 just because it feels like the right duration and sometimes I felt like I was getting stuck in it but maybe I should make a variation that has a longer one for the bigger maps I don't know we'll leave it for now that was a lot of talking for the intro to today's video but we're, yeah we're playing Zin that was my point I've gone over the little things that he's having changed about him so this is basically your last chance to play the most annoying character in Paladins because I would pretty much say that he's the most annoying character I can't really think of anybody else who's more annoying than Zin in like a fight because of how many things that he has um, to counter what you're trying to do to him it's not necessarily his damage that makes him annoying because to me he feels like he's actually got less damage than a lot of the other flankers but it's his it's just his ability to be killed is the part that's annoying because he has so many things um to make sure that he doesn't actually die and he's got a lot of movement um too and he does have a decent amount of damage up but it's not terrible but for me if i miss hits i'm basically just going to lose the fight team wise for this match though we're going to have grover victor bomb king term the map is onslaught primal court which is pretty good for zin uh grover said real frost fangs once again we're in a simulation i've said this two times in videos before this is a simulation i am not re real i'm just a computer program I'm that seems like he's human and sometimes I seem like I'm not human though so I don't know how good the program is. We've got a Lex on their side as well as a Nessa, an Andro, a Leanne and a Victor. So no healer, no tank. Meanwhile we have both of those so currently it's looking pretty good. Legendary card guillotine doesn't make sense because they don't have a tank. Yomi or Smolder? That's the decision here. I feel like Yomi because I feel like they're going to get a lot of cauterize although I guess this technically actually counters cauterize. Let's go for Yomi though. Look at the inspect. This weapon is fantastic. The effects as well. Whoever was in charge of this one um, did 
did a really good job. I didn't even end up playing this on the PTS, so my first experience with this was earlier on today, and it was really, really good. It looks really, really cool. The only downside to this skin, the downside to this skin, which I'd say is actually a pretty heavy downside, is your billow is really, really visible. So, so if you're trying to run away, you are going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. There we go. We can go ahead and queue and run away. Are we going to get out of combat? No. It nearly lasts for enough time to get us out of combat. If I buffed it a little bit more, it would do. Let's avoid um, that Nessa. Hello, enemy team. There's that. That didn't hit. You're gone, maybe? Oh, my God. I would say, in general, though, I'm a pretty bad Zin. I find him quite difficult to play. Um, personally, I'm just not great with him. There we go. Free kill. If you can get all the hits in, then he's really, really good. But I basically find that if I miss a single shot, then I'm going to lose the fight. We can go ahead and use his billow. But I can tell you, though, if I was to main a character and I wanted to be, like, really, really good with somebody, Zin would definitely be one I would consider an option just because of how much potential he has for being crazy good. Um, can we go ahead and finish this and get a triple? Unofficial triple. Nice. I actually got an official triple there. It just was unofficial because the duration of my billow kind of screwed me over there. But that was that was three kills. We got three kills. There's some damage for you, Victor. Hello, Andro. There we go. Oh, did I not get him? I don't know what other cards to get. I guess Kill to Heal might help me out a little bit. We've got a lot of credits already because this game is going pretty well so far. Hello, Leanne. Don't know what you're trying to do here, but Zin, Zin has a lot of potential. I just feel like a lot of the time I don't capitalize off of it because I end up missing a lot of my hits. If you're crazy good with Zin, though, you are a force to be reckoned with because Zin is a pain in the ass to fight against if he's playing well. Is that person low? No, she's actually full health. Health. There's some hits for you though. I don't know how I was hit around the corner here by this ult. I really don't understand it. I was legit just hit um, through a corner. I appreciate the cheeky spray though, but I actually don't know how I got hit by that. We're just going to move on and pretend that didn't happen whatsoever. The last hit in our chain of attacks though, that was what I was trying to say before I died to a bullshit Leanne kill. Um, feels crazy good if you're able to do it properly. I used my billow there. Can we get on the objective and maybe survive here? I'm pretty sure I'm still screwed. I'm out of combat though. Somehow there's my counter. I didn't hit anybody with that. Grover went ahead and hit his alt button. Can I hit the Nessa with my last chain with that? Can I do it? Oh, here we go. Freaking 850. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do it once just so that I'm getting something from my Yomi. There's my counter. Does that work against Lexal? It does. That's something I just learned today. You can counter Lexal with Zin counter. Fantastic. Oh, Victor. Victor. Oh, I'll go ahead and get rid of that 13 streak he was on. I did die then. Why is everybody spraying when they kill me? Are people recognizing me or are they just spraying off the kills for like a challenge? What's going on? I'm just going to go ahead and billow, get out of combat and then move over to this other side of the map so I could be a little bit more useful. There's that. Hello, and he's gone. Leon, there's 850 for you. Let's see if we can hit him with another 850. She's down here now. There's my counter. Oh, we actually got the kill there. That was very, very cheesy. I can go ahead and use my billow again because we have crazy amounts of reset. Oh, I have got my ult. I keep forgetting I've got this. Uh, let's F this way and pull up the counter. Hello, Leanne. Leanne has a vendetta against me, though. She really uh, wants to get rid of me. There's an ult. Nobody's here to save you, so luckily I'm fine, but we don't have the legendary card, so I could easily have died there. That counter did nothing for me. Hello, Lex. You're gone. I'm actually doing okay this game. I usually do way worse than this with Zin, but surprisingly, we're doing all right. No, I shouldn't be here. This is a bad position. Let's, let's stay with the team a little bit more because they are all damage characters, so they can all get rid of me. That did nothing, and I have no way to escape because all my abilities are down. God damn it. Hello, Lex. What are you doing here, my guy? Let's just get rid of him. I did just about save the person he was chasing. I'm pretty sure there's uh, mine from Ness. Let's just get rid of it. Let's see who's over here. I've got so much sustain right now. Max kill to heal and rejuvenate because, you know, freaking Zin has barely any sustain, right? There's 850 for you. Do we hit two people with that? I didn't even know you could hit multiple people with that. I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm guessing 600 isn't enough. Just going to go ahead and leave real quick. Where should I position myself? I don't know. Well, they have put up a good fight, but this game is in the bag. There's no way they're winning this with 360 um, to 200. I think there are some people who are doing the challenge because um, a lot of people are spraying even if it's not me that they've killed. What are you doing, Victor? You're just gone. I have no idea what that play was. That was really strange. He still had his goggles up, but he wasn't firing it. I don't know why. I don't have my billow here, so I'm in a bit of a weak state. That's no damage for you. Hello, Lex. There's some... Oh, I don't have immunity on my ult, but there's a free kill. I'll take it. Hello, enemy team. What's popping? Leanne, you're gone too. Double. Can I get a triple maybe? Yeah, there we go. It's another triple. Nice. That deserves a spray because I actually got three kills though, though a lot of them were assists. There's me billowing on the point and Grover ulting and a Bomb King ult as well. We easily won that game there. We were like 200 points ahead, I'm pretty sure. What's the top player going to be? It is me. Oh crap, we actually got the top player as well. I thought it was going to be um, Leanne, but no, we got a win and a top play. I'll take it. Is it this play right at the end where I just about got the actual kill on Lex to give me enough health to be able to fight again? Yeah, it is. It's the one right at the end. So we kill Lex, we then get rid of Leanne and then I get very, very lucky at just about tapping the Grover there. And that was a triple and we sprayed, so I got a spray in the top play. Haha, <laughs> get screwed, enemy team. <laughs> Great Divide just said, I bet he said cheeky spray, ooh, ooh, GG Frost, sure, GG. I knew he recognized me, and the reason I knew is because he was spraying every single time he killed me, and that's how to indicate to me that you have seen my stuff. If you kill me and spray on me like three times, 
I'm just going to assume that you've seen my stuff because who does that? Who sprays like three times every single time um, they get a kill? But shout outs to Leon. He played pretty well. He did get a couple cheesy kills on me there, but he, he did well. He does actually have the most damage in that game and Victor actually has more than me as well. So I had third. Top my stats pretty damn good. That was 17-7. Jesus Christ. That's a standard stat you'll probably see with Zane quite a lot in the way he currently is. Maybe not when he gets updated. We might have to revisit him when he does get the patch in 2.04. But right now, he is just really, really difficult to kill because of his kick. Grover did well on our side. Bomb King did pretty good. Victor was pretty rough. And Term was pretty strange. 10k damage there is a bit weird. But overall, um, they still all did their job, I guess. And we managed to pull through with a win on their side. Nessa was really defensive. Only actually had part in 12 kills there. Um, Lex was just kind of diving in all the time. Leon did pretty good. Andrew did pretty good. And Victor was pretty good. But the two guys at the top there weren't doing very much. And for us, um, Victor wasn't doing very much. But I guess Term only died five times and played the objective a ton. So he did his job. I would say if you've got a team with no healer, this will be fantastic because then you have um, a heal on your own ability that is resettable, so it makes a ton of sense there, but these two are the main ones. I also see other people going for as well, so it's not just me. Let's make sure we go ahead and grab Zin. Two games of Onslaught Primal Court with Zin. I guess that's what it's going to be. Do we want to play with this skin just to mix it up, or should I stick with this one? We'll stick with this one because this one's the newest one, right? Everybody locked in really, really quick there. Sure, let's go for it. So, like I said, Onslaught Primal Court, Lex, Eevee, Damba, Atlas. We're up against Charlene, Damba, Tyra, Cassie, Andro. Um, shout out to L O O L P L. We just said hi Frost, and so did um, Wasney360. So our team is triple flank healer tank, and their team is triple damage flank healer. This is going to be kind of strange. Do I want Yomi again? Yeah, sure. I guess we might as well. It worked last time, even though I had a bit of an awkward time that game. I, I still did pretty decent. I'm also I'm going to get caught here though, just to deal with that Dan, because Dan's heals can be kind of annoying. The weapon on this is great. The only thing that annoys me is the inspect clips through the weapon a little bit, and that that's very annoying. <laughs> Maybe it's not Frost, but whatever. I've said this. This is going to be the fourth time I've said this on the channel now. I, I, I'm not real. I am a simulation. It is your boy Frostfang. Spencer doesn't exist. His brain is in like a vat of acid somewhere. Or not acid. No, that mean I'd be dead, dead, dead. But a vat of like liquid stuff, and then I'm just connected to a computer. That's all this is. I'm just a simulation. The fact that my hand clips through my weapon though just completely ruins my immersion. Um, one out of ten. Paladin's worst game. <laughs> okay, I deserve to die. That I wasn't paying attention. I legit just ran into three of them. I wasn't expecting everybody to be looking at me and then to get hit by everything all at once. I do deserve to die there because that was a completely fair play from them and that's what I get for not paying attention at the start of matches. Hello, Charlene. If you thought you were safe, you're very incorrect. I even effed into him there because I didn't think that was going to be enough damage. Hello, Cassie. See, this is what I mean. When I miss my hits, I'm screwed. We still managed to live there. Once you're close to being out of combat, if you hit Billow, it usually gives you enough time to completely fully heal up, so you just have to time it right. Hello, you're gone. Like, if I had good accuracy with Zin, I'd be absolutely crazy. The thing is, my accuracy is kind of meh, so a lot of the time I have um, a difficult time playing well. What is this Cassie doing, by the way? She was just um, jumping in a corner. Is Tyra over here? Yeah, my sound effects actually seem to be working recently. I don't know if they fixed something with the audio in, like, the bug fix stuff, because I haven't really read through all of them in, like, massive amounts of detail, but this happened as well um, in a video a little while ago after the 2.03, like, hotfix thing, and this patch in general, I've actually been able to identify where people were with my audio properly. Like, a couple times, it would be really, really misleading. Like, uh, before this patch, it was actually sometimes a little bit difficult um, to tell where people were at, but lately, it's been pretty damn good, and i got to give them props for that. If they didn't change anything, then it's just me imagining stuff, but if they did actually do some sort of bug fix to, like, location sound, then massive props to them, because it's made this game a hell of a lot easier for me to play. You've probably been able to notice in the videos as well, I can actually tell where people are way more than I used to be able to. My sword is thick as hell at the end, by the way. I haven't pointed that out. This sword is mega thick. This game looks like it's going to be in the bag as well. Maybe we should do a third TDM, maybe? I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow, the rubber banding there was insane. What the hell was that? How was I meant to even counter that? She was just um, glitching around. I'm fine here, even if he hits me. Mild Amazon will heal, so I don't need to use my Q. Let's F over here. This Cassie is a very, very awkward player. I will tell you that much. She's being very strange counter. Oh, okay, of course, everybody misses when I hit my counter. And then we can go into Billow, and I'm out of combat. Nice. Veteran might actually be a decent pick for my boy over here. Zin might actually work with Veteran because of your Billow. You can get out of combat and maybe heal up a little bit more if you go for Veteran. It's not something I've ever thought of before, but it could be an option. Oh, wow, I'm in a bad spot here. If anybody hits me, I'm pretty much gone. There's the Q, and we're out of combat. I mean, maybe you don't need it because I'm already full health. Yeah, even, even without Veteran, you're full health. You probably don't need it. He's just been banished. Oh, Charlin. Charlin, hit me. Hit me. Oh, I'm screwed. I tried to F to bait him, and it didn't work, and Atlas popped his wall up like a second too late. Okay, let's get more core and kill to heal will be great in a little minute. That's a Charlin ulting on the left. Can you ult an invisible Charlin? I, I don't know. Do I want to find out? I just want to hit Q because he can two hit me, so let's play a little bit safe. Where is he? Oh, he's just here. Hello, let's find out. No, I guess 
you can't either. Well, he just juked me like a wizard. I guess he just juked me like a wizard. He just got rewound, so I wasn't able to get the kill. There's 850 for you, and Charlin will be out any sec. No, no. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. Let's hit Q. There's my Q. Nice. Let's just get out of combat. There we go. <laughs> Lex just said that shot. Yeah, he's annoying as hell because of his invis and stuff. I might just pick up Illuminate to deal with it because um, it's kind of just annoying me. He's not even killing me that many times. It's just um, annoying. The rest of their team is playing very strange. Cassie and Tyra um, don't really seem like they've played Paladins before. They're walking around very weirdly. Not there's anything wrong with not having played Paladins before, um, but matchmaking is a little bit strange. We seem like we've got a bit of an advantage this game. Does my freaking last hit actually go through people? And I just didn't know it did because genuinely, I don't remember it actually being able to hit multiple people, but I think my memory's just bad. I'm so dead any second. Do I want to ult here? No, I don't because I'm gone. Let's get some Haven and some kill to heal. Lex is going in for an ult at the top. Very, very strange, but you know, each to his own. That was a very, very bad ult, but I'm not in a place to criticize. I suck with Lex ult. That counter actually kind of worked and it fires a little projectile now, which is kind of cool. I'm going to stand here. Can they see me? They can see my little ponytail. Hello, guys. You want to hit my ponytail? I don't think they can. Cassie can hit round the thing with her explosive shot, but that's it. That's that's hilarious. They can't actually hit me back there. I, I would have guessed that they could, but I guess they can't. My model is probably just a little bit too short for them to be able to hit round it. Hello, Andro. Yeah, there we go. Successful ult. It's not enough to kill him, though. Let's go finish him off, and he's gone. There we go. I had to finish my job myself because my ult wasn't good enough. There's the Q, just so we can reposition a little bit because the amount of speed we get in that is insane. There's the F. Hello, enemy team. Charlin, you are by far the most annoying person on their team, without a doubt. Can we get rid of this guy? Yeah, there we go. He's gone. There's my Q. Complete waste of your ult, my guy. Come on. You should have thought that I was going to have my bill up. I'm a Zin. I meant to be annoying as hell. Hello, Andro. There's two hits for you, three hits for you, and you's a goner. Go on, hit me. I dare you. <laughs> He didn't move it. He just let it hit me. I can't even laugh at that because I've done that before, but that's absolutely hilarious that he didn't reposition his counter and he just hit into my counter. We countered the counter. Tyra is rubber banding like hell. I nearly landed that there. That would have probably gone through everybody and I'm dead. Yeah, this game's in the bag. Two points, one point and victory. Oh no, they're technically triggering the um, contestion, right? Because she's on there. Although we have three people on it, so doesn't that mean we should get it? Never mind. She just got obliterated by Lexel. Yeah, it does still work like that because we've got three and they've got one, but it still gave us the point. Okay. Okay, victory. We didn't get top play. I was hoping we would, but I don't think I got any triples that match. But Lex does have something, clearly, because he's top play there with his little froggy hat. Not sure what it's going to be, because he made a couple weird old plays, but he did kill the Andro there. I'm guessing he goes over there and gets these two guys. And um, one shots Charlin, um, solo ults the freaking Maldama and doesn't kill him. And then that's it. That's the end of the top play. Okay. <laughs> well, the stats page kind of tells the exact same story it did in that um, first match. We basically did the exact same. 16 to 6. I think I went 17 to 7 in that last one or something like that. And then we had 40 seconds on the objective and 41 and a half K damage, which is top. No, it's not. It's third top again. <laughs> it's top on our side, but there's two people on theirs that have more. And that's just because of the way Zin is. He doesn't have crazy damage output unless you go for guillotine and start ulting tanks all the time. He doesn't have all that much damage output. He's very annoying and he's very good. And he will most of the time have more kills than deaths. Um, but you'll also not end up having a crazy amount of damage like a lot of the other characters. That's just not really how you're meant to play in though, I guess. I probably called him Shaolin at some point during this video just because I always get Zin and Shaolin mixed up because they have really, really similar names. It's the same way I've called freaking Atlas Talus and I also call Strix um, Zin. I, I don't know. I'm just terrible with names. So let's just go through the rest of the stats real quick. I've already gone through mine. Lex did really well though. 14, 9, 40k is pretty good. Atlas did pretty decent. 30k damage did pretty good. 46k heals and Eevee did okay. Not crazy good, but the team she was up against kind of counter a little bit, so it's understandable. Their cast did pretty good. Their Andro did all right that Damber did okay, but not great. Shaolin definitely did well. He was the most annoying on their side by far. He was a pain in the ass um, to deal with. And Tyra has a lot of damage, even though she didn't feel like she had that much of an impact. She had a lot of damage there. But yeah, none of them really gave me any issues other than the Shaolin a couple times. I think we killed him maybe once or twice out of those three, but I'm not sure. 16-6 is pretty good. And the last one, I think we did pretty similarly. Oh, you can see the Koga skin on here now. I think this was changed. I don't remember being able to get that before. You, I remember you get Atlas, you get Lex. I guess Koga's there now too. Or do you get Imani? Yeah, Imani's there. Do you get Zin and Vivian? Or are they not a thing? I, I guess not. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I was thinking about doing a third game, but I don't want to ruin the two matches we just had. I felt like I did it. I'm pretty good justice. I'm interested to see what this is like once they change stuff. We will revisit it. If you guys want to see me do that, just leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.